Hello and welcome to the Wheel of Five Ds. I'm just going to get into it due to the fact that we are not as knowledgeable as main characters going forward. Uh, there won't be seasonal wheels. They'll just be the wheels of all the main characters. Or at least, if I'm missing somebody, please, please, please fill me in. I do not mind adding a duelist to the wheel. But if not, these are everything. We'll just go through it and then we'll go forward from there. There are 16 names. That's 8 weeks minimum, 16 weeks maximum. So, you never know. And then we'll go Zaxel, um, whatever, the Arc 5, and then, which is Pendulums, and then Lynx, which I can't remember what the name of the anime was called, but that one. And then uh, we'll go in a big wheel. I'm talking everyone we've used in any wheel. And one major wheel to finish it all off. So that's going to be fun, but that's going to be a little while. And that's why we modify decks as we go, even though we're done with GX. I still want to modify those decks. So, And those side decks, because you don't... Some of these older duels just will not stand up to the newer ones. But you never know. That's, that's what it's going to be. But anyways, the other change that we're doing is going forward, if we win, we have two respins available to us at, for that next video only. And if we lose, we only have one available respin. So that way they don't just keep collecting. Daniel's not even using them. I still have like half of mine. So it's like, at least that gives us incentive to actually use them if we want to. And if you don't, you just, you have nothing going into the next video and we'll see from there. So we'll do it that way. It's a little bit more balanced, I believe. That way I don't respin like for, you know, 16 different times just to get a character. Though I may want it sometimes. It's not going to happen again. So... Let's actually spin the wheel and see who we get for our first Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds Duelist. Come on. Oh, gosh. All right. When I tell you I don't know these duelists much, I really don't know these duelists much. Gregor, Gregor. I think he was one of the Dark Signers. So we'll go there. We'll figure it out. We'll build the deck. And hopefully there's a lot of cards to play with because... I don't want it to be like a one-trick pony type thing where it's like you have this and you only have this because then if your opponent uses something that just shuts it off, then you're just done. Now, if I could swap cards out in my side deck at least a little bit or if I screw up, I can swap it. Great. Not, well, who knows. But anyways, Gregor, Gregor, whatever his name is. Let's go and take a look there. And um, guys, we'll see in the duel. Um, build my deck. We'll throw that image next. And then it's time. Daniel. Oh, let's not get your game on anymore. I don't even know what it is, the slogan is, but hope you're ready to duel. Get your bike ready? I don't know, but I will see you there. All right, here we go. Next week 43, I believe. I have no idea other than, you know, Sith Yodo, and I know I'm not going to have that name. And Jack, so open mind. that name so let's see who Luna is and <laughs> hey you know what any little bit of luck is gonna be better than what I'm going in with because the cards, this, my friend. this series this 5d season is gonna be it's going to be trouble. So, Daniel, welcome. Hello. To say the least. <laughs> Ew. We are starting the 5D series. Uh, Rex and Rowan Goodwin are two different people, so that was fixed on the wheel. But um, other than that, uh, how was your spin? I don't know, honestly. I like the idea of it. Well, I kind of went weird with this deck compared to what you're probably supposed to do with this deck. So, that's a thing. And uh, I went in not knowing characters much. I know the basics, and I know Synchro, but I don't know the characters very well. So, yeah, I'm interested. It, I could have went, like, two different ways with this deck, and yes, I actually made out two entirely different decks, and then decided to go with the second option like I usually do. Hey, you know what? At least you uh, you had some preparation. Wow, I, I lost. Uh -huh. So I wanted to talk about how this rock, paper, scissors looks different, and then... uh. I guess I waited too long, so let, uh, let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I figured out that they um, made that look different. All right, let's try this again. 
Oh yeah, ready when you are. <laughs> Without waiting, then we'll just. Rock paper scissors is definitely different. The whole website is actually different. Oh really? If you're making your deck, they actually tell you how many cards are in your deck, how many monsters, spells, and traps now. Wow! Look at them. So yeah, even the deck editor and everything works a little bit better from <coughs> what I can tell. So. You know what? Like yesterday. Oh boy. Yep. Ah, uh, I, I I noticed a pattern there. Um, I honestly, honestly have. Honestly, I didn't. I was just clicking. <laughs> I actually have zero idea what is correct here, so it does not matter if I won or lost this. I'm going second. I, I'm going for the extra card at this point. I don't know. I made this deck a little while ago, and I don't remember everything in here. So let's uh, good luck. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and activate Upstart Goblin. I will take whatever handicap you want to give me. And then my turn. Again. Mm, After oh. playing two face downs and a defense position monster. Nice. I have to pull my stuff out. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done this. I'm, I'm rusty. I hear you. Oh my gosh. This is just... Well, you know what? Nothing too thrilling here. I'm going to set a monster. You know, that only took forever to select the set button. And, uh... I will also set myself a face down, and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing exciting over here. Your turn. Fair enough. Oh, would you look at that? I'm going to. Uh, oh wait. I'm going to go ahead and summon. What card is this? Dancing fairies. Okay, it says dancing fairy, but there's multiple fairies on the card. This makes no sense to me. <laughs> Sorry, it always confuses me because I want to see Dancing Fairies. Who, Dancing Fairy. who the heck plays this card? This is an older card. This is before also, 5Ds, but wow. Okay. Also going to go into Battle Phase and might as well attack while I can. You know what? It would be you to pick the ones that gain life points. But you know what? Blast Fear. Here's a card you would recognize. Oh. So that's going to attach yeah, to your... I know that one. So that'll destroy your monster next turn, and uh, you'll take 1,700 damage. So let the game begin, I guess. The only issue with that is I don't know what else to do. I have nothing that really does anything in my hand. I get that. <clears throat> and you know this whole thing is five Ds is like synchros. I don't have a tuner. So I'm yeah, going to a set, a pair, and uh, back to you. <laughs> Oh boy! Well, uh, take that damage. Now that I like. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna end my turn. Off to you. Sheesh! It's crazy. I'm oh. not getting the cards I need. I can. I get one card. I'm good. Oh. Actually, I get two different cards, and I'm good. Well, that. Huh. And also. Choosing for this deck was a max, completely mixed bag. Like, this character had so many different deck options. Like, it had everything from Thunder decks to, you know, like, the main deck it used, and it only used certain cards. And then you go to the games, and it had, like, 50 different decks. <laughs> like, half of them were the same, and then the other half were just like, what? So like, I'm a she went from fairies and light monsters to, um... Like machine monsters at one point, and I'm like, I want, oh, you know who I, I think I know who you have. I think you have Luna then. But let's uh, let me flip my track reactor E five. Who? I still have no clue who you <clears> are. So don't worry, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna summon Black Salvo to the field. When oh, I don't like that. When Black Salvo's summoned, I could special summon a dark monster from my graveyard in uh, defense position. Guess what's coming back. Oh, fair enough. Blasphere will now return to the field. And did you notice something? One's a tuner. One's a tuner. Yeah, a tuner. I'm going to special summon from my extra deck. Dark, strike, fighter. Oh, they were highlighting. Yeah, they, I haven't... Ooh. Uh, ooh, 
During the main phase one, which is right now, I contribute one monster and inflict damage to my opponent equal to the tribute of monsters level times 200. So if I were to tribute my other monster, then yeah, 800, which is not really worth it. I can only use this effect once per turn. But <clears throat> the real thing is I'm keeping this up so I can use it for negation. Battle phase. Attack into your defense monster. Now let's see if this... Marsh! Well, you know what? <laughs> There are trap cards, and then there are cards like this that, you know, just... Oh, how am I going to get around a marshmallow? Holy... <laughs> it's pretty bad with those little, like, Spirit Reaper callback. Or marshmallow are, like, stalling... Like, these little guys are such a big thing <laughs> to get around. I don't know if... These okay. These five D-sticks, I don't know about you, but I couldn't even use Pot of Greed. I couldn't use, like, Regeki... Yeah, there are some cards. Yeah. One of the cards that would get around uh -huh. are either monster effects or nothing. You're right. Kind of like nerf or nothing. It's like, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to play totally Swords of Revealing Light to attempt to protect my trap reactor monster. But other than that, it is your turn. Holy crap. I, I mean, as I draw through the deck, I'll, I'll remember if I have something. But oh my gosh, I don't know if I have anything that could get around of a, a monster that can't be destroyed by battle. This is bad. Well, as you said, yeah. not a lot of cards in here from the past season, so... Ugh. Most of my deck I could use, but right now I'm not getting the right combo, as usual for building access with you. <laughs> it's not just you. It is not just you. Um, Yeah, so one card face down ended. Got it. All right, my turn. I'm going to summon... You know, there are no. nine cards that could help me right now, and I can't get any of them. So. <laughs> Very specific. All right. Um, well, I'm sure there's more, but those are the nine that came to mind. Okay. Actually, eleven. Sheesh. Came to mind. That's uh, that's a lot of cards, but you also have a forty-two deck size remaining. Holy crap! You have a big... okay. You'll see why. Again, if actually there's three more, so fourteen cards that could help me right now. Yeah, no, nothing's helping me right now, so I guess I'm just going to reposition this guy into defense mode and uh, uh, <laughs> end my turn. Your go. We're, uh, we're sitting here for a moment. I don't want to tribute monsters constantly to do damage to you. I don't have monsters to just keep doing that with, and that's so little damage. Ugh, so bad. I'm going to go ahead and activate this. One of those 14 cards that would have helped me, but it says you can do something, which I don't like. Yeah, I don't really know if that's going to matter. So. You're really going to stall this deck. Wow. Are we really going to have a stall match? This is ridiculous. Because not only do I have to destroy a monster, I have to destroy this spell card. Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> a, I, I made it a stall deck because it was more effective this way. Um, and unfortunately, until I get well, at least one more card... Out of those 14, actually now since that's removed, it'll only be 12, I think, cards that will help me now. It's pretty bad. I'm not usually the one that card counts. <laughs> I'm putting one face down and end of my turn. Uh, this is your last turn for swords. Not that I need it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yours. My bad. For some the reason, I thought my uh, level limit was Swords of Revealing Light. I wish so it were. Said that, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, wait, no, never mind, that was yours. I wish it were. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to have to just end my turn. Oh gosh, it's going to be one of those. All right, well, you know what? i got to figure this out somehow. Heart of the Cards, guide me. That? Again, I only need like <sighs> one of six cards. And I can do something fun, but till then... All right, so I'm going to end, but there might be hope after all. Let's just see if we can find it. You're spilling up your field. Wow. Set a card face down and end my turn. That you did. Your turn. I'm going to go ahead and summon Fire Princess in attack mode just to put her in defense mode. That makes sense. Now, because she's face up, it's time I gave life points, you get 500. Ah, <sighs> and if oh. Dancing Fairy comes back, that's a problem. All right, yep. This is an actual old school strategy. I have surprises coming into 5Ds as actually 
playable. This is crazy. Um, can I do something about this? She can do something. Ugh. I don't like that. So when my opponent, something. no, I can't. <sighs> Worth it. Oh my gosh, Dark. You know this what? This is the card that. Yep. Go ahead. I forgot. I mean, oh, wow. but the deck size is that high. So it didn't let me negate that, so I'm starting to think I can only do it on my turn. Oh, nice. I don't know, because it doesn't say or either player's turn. It doesn't say quick effect. It just says once per turn when your opponent yeah. takes effect. It's probably during my turn, but um, I don't know, and it didn't let me. It didn't give me the option, so I'm just assuming at this point. I'm, I, I've never used these cards in my life, so first time yeah, for everything. Don't want my marshmallow to go away. So I do. Please sacrifice it. Get say goodbye. Say lovey. I'm worried you have torrential tribute. <sighs> I'm not. Of, I'm not getting rid of my. Why would I get rid of my synchro? Like really? Fair enough. <laughs> That's not happening. You can't get past me, so there's no reason to do that. Fair enough. Um, for this turn, I'll just end. Damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, you seem too confident that. Oh wow, that would have been so much like better if I. Is a bad idea. So much better if I had this a few turns ago. I'm gonna s summon Spell Reactor Re. He's the exact same as Spell Reactor Wi-Fi, but the difference is spell cards. I. Luckily, I already activated. Yeah, the exactly. Limit. This is just in case you want to activate more, and I could do damage to you. I want to do it as soon as possible. Your turn. <laughs> Fair enough. It's only 1,200, though, so, you know, there's kind of an issue there. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yay. Tell me more. <laughs> oh. Want to set a card face down? Unfortunately, for this turn, I end. All right, well. <clears throat> We are not finding anything, and we're not finding it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well. Yeah, my uh, whole strategy tier is causing issues, so. Let's place you in defense mode. I know you're not as strong in defense mode, but I'm really not trying to take damage for anything. At this point, yeah. Your go. <clears throat> I seriously am not getting what I need. I'm going to have to risk it for the biscuit. I activate gift card. All right. What is this? Your opponent gains 3,000 life points. I don't know why I would want to cancel that. You, you, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Because bad reaction of Simochi. Wow, all these old cards. Okay, as long as this card remains faced by the field, any effect increasing your opponent's life points is changed with can I can I negate that that one? <laughs> I can! Woo! <laughs> no. Let's see if it works. Does it still do the three thousand damage or? No. <laughs> uh, I was worried that was gonna happen, but oh well. You know what? I appreciate your gift. It was a good. It was a good idea, though. It was. I was hoping it was still. You know. Maybe if I would have activated it first, it was gonna still work. Because right, I, I wouldn't. I probably yeah. I probably would have negated your other card, and then you would still have it on the field because it's continuous. All right, so you live, you learn. All right, my turn. All right, well, go for it. At least you're at least you're able to attempt things. Marshmallow. I mean, not just the marshmallow alone, but marshmallow moreover than anything else. I I, I don't know. I can't get past it. a card in your turn. If I can find something that's small enough that does piercing damage, that might do it, actually. It has to be 14 or less in piercing damage. I'm going to I'm summon... No, I'm going to set a card and end my turn. I'm going to go ahead and activate Ceasefire! Ah, gosh dang it. That's the... Yep. Go ahead. I'm not going to negate this Oh, you're one. not destroying it? I'd rather not. It's not... I'm surprised. Holy crap! I forgot all five of them count as effects. Yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes you forget that uh, your Synchro Monster has an effect. 
That's fine. <clears throat> After you gave me so many life points, I thought, you know what? That's you only okay. lost 500 in a long run. Exactly. So I get another card. Your turn. Again, I'm not drawing well today. <laughs> this deck, this you can see the whole point in this deck is literally stall them out. <laughs> yeah, um... I'm supposed to be able to be doing burn damage, as you saw with Add Reaction and Gift Card, but... I'm right. not getting any of the burn cards of the stall bird deck. Right. I'm going to summon... By sacrificing Dark Sea Rescue, my summon reactor. We'll go in defense mode. But now if you summon a monster the first time per turn, so obviously I inflict 800 damage, and during the battle phase I can negate an effect. And if I have all three of my reactors face up the field, I can sacrifice them for a fortress in my deck, graveyard, or hand. I don't know what fortress does. So all right. I actually I don't remember. don't know what you're playing. I don't remember what it does either, <laughs> but it's your turn. Yeah, unless you were familiar with the anime, you probably wouldn't know who I'm playing. Because of your reactor, guys, I'm having issues, honestly. It's shutting down a lot of my deck. It only shuts down one per turn. The only thing is, yeah, now I have, yeah, all, but, I have no, all three of them on the field, so I do kind of understand that it is a little... You can choose which, you know, of the ones activated. Like, if you have... Um... The magician's right or left hand, it only activates on the first effect. Well, the monster the one is, two. the summon one is only on the first summon. The spell and trap cards are the ones I could choose. And to be honest with you, yeah. Oh, we got something. Oh, no. I'm about to outplay the stall burn deck. You ready for it? Yeah. Now... I am Griger, the Dark Signer, and something the Dark Signers have in 5Ds are the Earthbound Immortals. I will now summon my Earthbound Immortal. Doesn't it go to my... I don't know. I know it does. Chowku, chow, blah, 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 I don't remember if you summon it to my side or yours. My side. Chowku, chaluha, chalhua, I don't know. By sacrificing... My Mystic Tomato and my Dark Strike Fighter. Didn't she gotten rid of, you know, Trap Reactor and Spell Reactor? Why did that go to the graveyard? What happened? These are, uh, there can only be one spell on the field. If there, there's no face of field spell card on the field, destroy this card. Oh, I read it as your it destroys. Cannot target this card for attacks. This card cannot attack your opponent directly. Once per turn, you can... Like damage your opponent equal to half their defense on the field. This card can attack, your, attack during the turn and deactivate this effect. Well, this card is in defense position. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would have been annoying. But yeah, because you didn't do Yeah, I read it as it destroys a face up. I. Well, you know what? That sucks. Your turn. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, that. I still can't do what I want to do. Like, I'm not getting either side of what I need, so... Alright, I need to find my field cards. I know I have them in here. I still remember what the heck they are. Hey, <laughs> really? Again, this deck was meant to stall and burn, but I'm not getting the burn. Like, I have Fire Princess out there, but I can't use her effect. Right, your turn. Her effect of. Yeah. In defense position. Yeah, no, I am my turn. Again, if I could get one or two more cards, that'd be great. But I can't. This is almost this deck worth basically it. Basically, only has one and a half sides, and I'm still only getting one from one side, one from the other. It's like you work so well together. Hi, Dueling Nick. This deck actually stalled out and beat a Blue Eyes deck. Hey, current one. That's crazy. The only, actually, to be fair, the only deck it lost against was the frog deck. Okay, I lost twice against the frog yeah, deck. Yeah, frogs are a little crazy. Otherwise, <clears throat> I tested like five times and won three out of five. It was the frog deck that I lost to both times. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to do. I'm going to end my turn at the discard a card. I'm probably just going to discard well, uh, Starblast. I'm going to do a lot more... Yeah, it's going to take a lot longer than I originally thought it would take. But that's okay. Alright, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to 
tempting. It's okay, I don't either. Activate Snatch Steel. I'm gonna take him. Your summon reactor SK. Well, obviously I'm gonna negate that. I'm going to activate Divine Wrath. Oh, that was clever. Again, and I can summon monsters again. That's bull. I'm going to summon, um, what's his name again? Dark Lord Nurse Ref Refiku? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's as good as that you're going to get. Any effect would I make your opponent you gain life points? Though. Oh, gosh, another one of these. It says you can do something. Oh, I know. Don't tell me you have freaking Torrential Tribute. No, I don't. I'm going to activate my Hidden Soldiers uh, trap card. When you summon a monster, I can special summon a Dark Monster to my field uh, from my hand. That's all. I'm going to activate another gift card, and this time you will take. No, I saw my trap reactor up. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot. My bad. Yeah, fair enough. Hold on. I got a little too excited for that. Mm, do I negate this? 3,000's a lot. Yeah, let's do it. But if you have another ceasefire, it does exactly the same. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? Go ahead, trap reactor. Yeah, I got too uh, excited on that one. Oh, it still did the 3,000! Because I didn't negate it, I destroyed it. Your monster's oh, the one with the effect. I, when I... Dark Samachi was continuous. That's why it destroyed it. I didn't... Oh, no. I mean, you still lost 800. Don't get me wrong. Every little bit helps, but... It's pretty bad. Your deck went from a super-powered synchro machine to I'm going to try to outstall the stall deck. Yeah. Well, there goes my card, but I totally forgot. So you... You'll love this next one. You just gave um... me 800. Because I summoned a monster, you actually summoned reactor, hit me for 800. Wow, that's horrible. <laughs> uh-huh. Just wait, it gets better. No. Um, and I'm going to end my turn, because you want to know what card's on the field that's going to be fun. Snow Snatch feels great. Oh, no! <laughs> oh! I to figure that out. That's what I was talking about. You know what gets better? I figured this out while, doing, while testing the deck. That's... Dark Lord here, he subtracts it every turn. All right, well, there's... So I could just steal your powerhouse and use it as a stall card and keep doing a 1,000 points of damage each turn instead of giving you life points. All right, so here's what and needs to happen. One. I have been waiting to use it. So there's something that needs to happen. I, unfortunately, am going to lose some really good cards because of this, but I don't have any other option. I'm going to activate Heavy Storm. I hate to do it, but I got to do it. Oh. I lost the magic cylinder too. I have too. a wall, but I don't know if that wall is going to last. And yeah. Oh, you got rid of magic cylinder too? I got rid of two of them. Yeah. I got rid of mirror force and call the haunted a magic cylinder. <laughs> you weren't attacking. It doesn't matter. It gives me my summon reactor back, and now I have all three reactors on the field again. Fair enough. So I am going to be able to place another card face down. Actually, let's take that to two cards face down. And then I'm going to... I'm going to flip him into attack mode. I'm going to set a monster in defense mode. I'm going to go to battle phase and attack into your freaking Dark Lord Nurse. No, my friend! So that's going to be useful. But at that point in time, I have nothing else I could do. Go ahead. Whoa, my oh gosh, God. what a turn. Hey, these last two few turns have been... uh. Set a card Crazy. Down. Oh, you have <clears throat> spell reactor, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, of course I do. <laughs> well, the three reactors are back on the field. And you can only play one snatch deal. Ha, 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 ha. Unless you have a card to bring it back, like Magician Faith or something. Yeah, or I have uh, Monster Reborn. You could reborn my Orca, but that's not going to help you without a field card. Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh, or it can do Dark Strike Fighter. Oh, you can! Holy crap! So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Unless you negate it, of course. 
I can't negate the summon. I just deal you 800 damage when you summon the first time. It doesn't negate the summon. No, I thought you could negate Monster Reborn. It destroys it, doesn't negate, so it doesn't, it won't matter. Oh, nice. Like, you got two face downs, and it's either Mirror Force or <laughs> Magic Cylinder, and I really don't want to waste What are the odds that I have those exact same two again? It's you. It happens so many times. <laughs> no, if it was you, it would make more sense. Not me. You're the one that always has so Magic Cylinder. It would make more sense with me, but yeah. like every other trap card... Every time I get rid of it, you have it again. Okay. Every that's, time that's it's fair. important for me to have them, you get rid of them again. So, yeah, don't give me that. I mean, you do have a card on your field that definitely does burn damage if you're willing to get rid of monsters. But that's about yeah, it. Yeah, mm, actually, it's more effective at this point. I mean, just, I'm just saying, if you're not going to attack, you have the option. I don't want to tell you it, but at the same time, it is I'm my monster. why I summoned him besides the, you know... I. Mm, no, I don't want to. Do? I don't want to activate them. It's it's nothing that's gonna help me really too much. So you know. Um, I'm gonna set a card face down. And end my turn. So if you could tribute itself, that's fourteen hundred, and you could tribute. Oh. Oh man. Did I just draw the best card in my deck, but also it's going to kind of suck for me. I don't... Uh -oh. I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy your face down. I'm just going to activate my face down. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's fair. I'm going to probably regret this, but I need to get around Marshmallow, and I don't have another card to do it. At least, not that I can think of if right you now. Have lethal if uh, you can... I wish I did have. <sighs> oh, if you use Dark Hole, though, yeah, you can. But I was thinking if you had like Regeki, you could. But this is I, pff, I this deck what? Yeah, okay. You clear both fields, or you clear mine, and I'm in trouble. <sighs> both fields are gone. I'm okay with that. To <laughs> another marshmallow. Oh, hey, Regulus. Okay, that, that confirms it. All right. I do have Monster Reborn, however. No. I'm for not. Dark Strike Fighter. I don't know about that. Yeah, because all you need is one other monster with, uh, you said 26? Not 13, so. I don't have okay. anything else. This is all I could do to you. I have to hope you don't draw anything now or have you burn if you need to, so that kind of sucks. If you can't get rid of my fighter, yes. I'm going to activate Messenger of Peace. Well, I can't attack you, but I could probably burn you. Yeah, that's fair. If, um, I could, if I could sacrifice itself and you keep it alive this turn, then I win. I can use Summon. I can use Mist Body. During your main phase, you can inflict 400 each face of Light Monster you control. Okay, that's definitely... This would have been nice to have sooner. Yeah, for sure. Because when I had a full field and, you know, could have done some major damage and I probably would have Woo! so far. Trap reactor. Activate effect. Sacrifice itself. Oh my gosh! What a freaking duel. So this is only duel what you honestly. You have the potential. If you had a little less cards, you probably would be able to. But maybe, maybe if you just drew a little differently, like you probably are gonna yeah. blow this deck away. Because honestly, cause... I kept drawing nothing but <sighs> selling traps, and I have fifteen monsters in the deck, and I didn't get. I kept drawing the same spell and traps. I hear you. Well, like I started that's gonna off happen. the duel with two gift cards and didn't get Ad Reaction Emoji or Dark Lord Nurse until uh, three fourths the way through the duel. Let's like, uh, yeah, that's. Ridiculous, but yeah, now you know what I'm working with. So let's see how the side decking works. Let's uh, let's oh, get God. let's get there. I'm gonna go second. That way I get that extra card. You know what? I get it, and probably a very smart choice because pff, I I wow, what a flipping hand! Actually, I, your deck. I might want the one to go first because uh, your turn. Your reactor guys on the field. I'm in trouble. I would need a reactor. 
I'm going to activate Messenger of Peace. You know what? If you want to start paying your 80 turns, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to set, a car, uh, set two cards, um, and I'm going to activate Upstart Goblin. I'll take the life point, sure. And I'm going to activate Scapegoat. Really? Just right off the bat like that? Okay. I, just, I don't have any monsters, and I literally just top that thing. I mean, sure. Well, that's a start. I have an idea of why. Because I figured out something with these little scapegoats. can't tribute them, but there's other things you can do. You can't tribute them, but you could use them to... You can use them as special summon effects or like other effects that require monsters. But tributing for a tribute summon, yeah, you can't use them. Yeah, stuff like that. Well, there's no reason not to. Spell Reactor Re, let's summon you to the field. I'll set a card. I'll go to the battle phase, and we will start attacking into these little tokens. It's under 1,500, so Messenger of Peace does not apply. That is all I can do. Go ahead. And that's exactly why I sat there and activated it like I did. Oh, well, you could have quick played it, but it doesn't matter. I get you. I have to activate Messenger of Peace. I hate to oh, have to click I, on it. Now so I see my it. spell reactor could have negated it. Ah, I get it. I can? No, I'm saying if you, if you used it later. Oh. It wouldn't have been able to negate it. It's not continuous. It would have just destroyed the card, which would have been pointless. Nah. Messenger of Peace I could have burn. dealt with, but it was a turn too late. Alright, I'm going to summon this guy. Okay. I'm going to special summon. Oh! Uh, Dragon of the Ice of Batty. Such a good freaking synchro card, too. And I'm going to equip my Bylon Stella to my Dragon of the Ice Batty. Yeah. I'm trying to think. There's nothing I can do about this. You can return literally this card, so you could put two cards back to my hand. Well, you know what? That sucks. Uh, I can't attack anyway, dude. Oh, yeah, I can't attack anyway, so there's no. Point. Yeah, that's true. And I'll end my turn. Oh, boy. Well, but now, even if you weaken him and attack him. Uh, you'll get destroyed because of Vylon. Right. So I basically have a strong wall here. Yeah, you're it's not lying about defense. that. If you're not attacking with it, I can't get around it either. Sheesh. You know, 1,400 defense, if you put it in defense, you still can't, you know, because it's M, so you have to destroy it, and that's your only option. Right. You have to destroy a Messenger of Peace and Dragon of the Ice Barrier to get past it. I basically put up an ice wall that's in the form of a dragon. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that's like, true. D&D, &D, ice wall. Your, your turn. Dude, I'm not going to flip my monster defense mode. It gives you more options to get over it. So, here go. I set a card face down. And end my turn. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, but not in a way. Your turn. I'm going to activate Solemn Wishes. Okay. Oh. Now, I have to pay 100, but I get 500. Right. Hey, I was, there's no way we're going to get through that many turns, so it doesn't matter. Unless I start doing my actual damage to you, like, actual damage to you. Like, that doesn't matter. <laughs> so now you're gaining life points, which makes it even more impossible. Unfortunately, I have to end my turn. All righty. Now I'm on the upswing. This dragon is a really big issue for me. Cause why? why? I wouldn't know why. You're not the only one that can synchro. No, oh, I'll be, yeah, right. Problem is... And I told you, I didn't go the normal way, because this deck doesn't rely on just synchros. Right. Like, you know, you would think. <clears throat> but, because I actually don't have to synchro to win. Right. But, I can still synchro to, if I want to. Oh, nice. Fortunately, I'll end my turn. Well, that's not a card I wanted to draw. All right. Sheesh. Your turn. I'm sorry for making this a stall deck, not at all. 
I mean, it is sorry, what it is. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Again, I made it with Synchro full-on in mind, but then I'm like, you know what? A lot of these cars are just burn cars. So it makes more sense just to make it a burn deck. And so I made this a contradictory name, mainly because the name contradicts itself because it's Luna. So I had to go with this, you know, a space or, a, you know, astral body theme here. So I called it the Quick Burning Stars. Sure. <laughs> it's a stall deck. It's not quick at all. So I made it you know, contradictory for the pure entertainment of it. Well, you know what? Your turn. You seem a little upset about this. <laughs> Me, no. During I went from 8,000 to 77 to 8,900. All right, um, I'm going to end my turn. I did figure out that I should have added a couple other cards in my side deck. So I might add duplicates of some cards into my side deck. Next, you. you know, when I'm done to modify. Oh, yeah. I get you. I get you. Um, you know what? Like you said, slow <clears throat> down is a good idea. I'm going to, and this is not even going to be a good... I, it is not a good idea. It really isn't. Because I... Do I wait? No, I can't wait. I can't just keep waiting. All right. First thing is first. Let me destroy Solemn Wishes. Yeah. Um, can I stop this? Can I stop this? Okay, dang it. I buy solemn wishes. Oh. All right. Well, that was fun. Your turn. <laughs> oh, I have to discard a card. Uh, Flying Fortress Skyfire. That's the thing that I could have special summoned with the three reactors on the field. Oh, gotcha. But it could be special summoned from the graveyard, so. It doesn't really matter where it's at. That's smart. Alright, I'm gonna set a monster in face down defense vision, you know. Shocker there. I'm gonna set a card face down. And then my turn. Oh well, I think I could do something. So first things first, I'm going to summon my Dark Sea Rescue. Not this again. I'm gonna activate Torrential Tribute. I'm going to go ahead and activate Ceasefire while I got it. Yeah, that's fair. Activate Call the Haunted. Bring back my Spell Reactor. Battle oh, phase. She can't bring back the other guy. Yeah, right. Slaying Fortress. She can't bring back him. Yeah, no, he has to be special summoned by a specific effect. So there's 1,200 there. And uh, your turn. All right, I didn't want to have to activate this, but here's a field spell. Ancient forest as a huge forest just grows. Yep. Oh man. Change any defense position monster to phase of attack position. Flip effects are not activated at this time. If a monster attacks, destroy it. Well, you know what? I am trying to attack you, so it does make sense. And I set a card fist down. And I uh, end my turn. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If only there was something I could Oh, there is. Heavy storm. All right, I activate. It gets rid of my magic cylinder. What is with you and getting rid of my magic cylinder the second I, I can? You, you can use it. Yeah, right? Turn activate my field card. Uh, turn player can activate these effects. Oh, so both of us can activate. Yes. Points. Immediately after the effect was all normal, so the one monster from your hand that requires one tribute without tribute. I don't like the way this is going. Immediately <laughs> after the effect was all normal, so the one monster. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. Because I'm betting you're about to pay 2,000 life points and boop the crap out of me. Oh, how did you guess? And now with a field spell card on the field, my Earthbound Immortal is active! <laughs> Battle phase. Well, I as many life points as I did. Woo! All right. That's, uh, I have no protection for it, so unfortunately this is all I could do. Your turn. Fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and activate good old Snatch Deal. 
Well, so I, there's a field spell on the field. I don't have to worry about that. Yep, I lost this one. Um, all you need is another 2100, and you can finish this right now. Because all you have to do is... Unfortunately, I can't... You don't have a card to sacrifice? Do okay. Well, close. It's 800 away. I'll go to the battle phase. I'll attack you. I'll attack you. Fudge. You can attack directly with this card next turn if I can't... All right. Go to the main phase two. Activate messenger of peace. Fudge. Name my turn. Hey. Will this do anything? Uh, I'm going to activate Foolish Burial. This will let me go from my deck and throw something into the graveyard. Uh, summon Reactor. It doesn't matter. I cannot win this. Yeah, Monster Reborn. Rionic. Oh, no. Activate Rionic. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of uh, Nobleman of Crossout. Mystic Tomato. Send uh, Snatch Skill back to my hand, would you? You're funny. You can't pay 2,000 life points to get back on the field, so... Not this turn. Oh, shoot. No, you're right. I, yeah, you're right. I can't do it at all. Attack. Destroy. Well, you could, but it might be a little counterproductive. <laughs> no, you got a point there. Your turn. All right. This is the, your card is the only thing standing in the way of... Messenger of Peace. Yeah, I know. But I can get, I can throw it back in the hand over and over and over again. So if that's all you have, then you ain't going to get anywhere. Oh. They're like, oh shoot, he's right. <laughs> you wouldn't have to do this, but you're right. I can get rid of him. Yeah, no, that makes a ton of sense. But guess what? Oh, well, yeah, I guess the Messenger of Peace of the field, it doesn't really ma Do I do it? I do it right, right. Like there's no reason I don't do it. I gotta do. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna set one card, and then my turn. Oh wait, why can you set him without paying the two thousand life points? How do you know it's that monster? Uh, it shows twenty nine hundred. Oh yeah, it's it's not. It's I promise you, it's not. It's not that. It's just bugged right now, then. Uh, okay, I was like... It is a card what? that can normally be set normally under those same exact circumstances. Yeah, no, it's not that monster. I'm just going to activate its effect. And my turn. How do I think this is going to be... Is this the second duel or third duel? This is the second. second. Yeah, I know. Feels like I it. I think I'm going to lose again, but at least I'm giving you crap on the way. Okay, so here's what I could do. I could do this... That'll clear this up. You just also, once again, got the deck that counters mine perfectly. Let's go Because you get rid of spells, traps, and monsters. Yeah, I haven't really had that ability. You literally this... got the, again, got the deck. I haven't had mind. trap reactor or summon reactor on the field at all. Not this, this door. This turn, this game. You're right. So you're only talking about one game. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, all you need to do is hit it one more time and I'm in trouble. Make I'm sure boom. you have three of each of those boom. monsters. Because they're monsters. Boom. That's... Okay, 15. 29. But this goes back up. So I guess it all rela relies on do you have a monster? <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go for it. Giant True Nade. All spells and traps back to the hand. Uh, Mausoleum of the Emperor returns. Now you can pay that 2,000. Exactly. This duel is over. Well, not exactly, because it all depends on what you have next turn. I didn't have a choice but you to use Soul Taker, and that gave you what you needed to win. Right, I hear you. Yeah, no, I, I, it was the right play, but I understand what you mean. I would have lost either way at this point. Uh, this only does well. This only does fifteen hundred. This only does fifteen hundred. Yeah, but then you two thousand. This is 14, leaving you at 600 after this. So, could, yeah, you need the battle phase attack. Oh, it can attack directly and then crash that. It's the same difference. Now attack this card because if you if I keep this on the field, I'm screwed. Because all if you have another one of those, I lose because all I have to do is summon and use its effect. I only have 400 life points left. 
I'm going yeah, to nice. set a single card and end my turn. Go ahead. 400 to 600 life points. This is crazy. But you have four cards in hand. And I'm going to use level limit area B. Okay, I'm going to... Oh... Uh, well, if you activate a message or a piece, I get you in like a couple turns. So that's not a big deal. Once per turn, I can inflict damage to my opponent equal to half of this card's defense points. So I can still beat you because I do 1,200 damage next turn. So that's fine. Yes, I'm going to activate Mr. Peace for Shits and Giggles. Okay. If so, I remove the mausoleum, nothing happens. So. Correct. Well, this gets destroyed because it needs a field card on the field. Oh, it does. That's right. That's why I wanted to do that. So, I'm going to activate this. Uh, okay. That actually does something. But if you don't have a monster, I can still attack with this 1400 monster. I can just replace level and him. Yeah. Oh, and he's four I set a card face down and end my turn. Well, I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon, destroying level limit area B. That sucks. Uh, it all comes down to what that face down is. Attack. You win. I oh! Was I was hoping you'd summon something. Oh, uh, I have no other monster. There's nothing I can do. Uh, you apparently could do something. You won. Well, yeah, uh, that was it. Oh, I'm my. Summon something. But every time I had turns of tribute on the field, of course, you didn't summon anything. Like, every time Dueling Nexus does this shit. Like, every time. We've been dueling for so long. <laughs> I just... Ah. That was good. Unfortunately... I couldn't, I couldn't use the sleep at the switch any of the times, because every time I was going to give you life once, you got rid of everything. Like, I never saw Numa's uh, Numa's healer at all. Honestly, this saw, turn, you had a better... I was not Divine Wrath. Yeah, you had a better hand last duel, because I had a less oh. I had less monsters this turn around, so sheesh. All right, let's go take a look at the the wheel, though. I am lowering down the number of cards in this deck. Yeah, that's going to be very helpful. So I had Griger, or Geiger, or whatever his name is, and then you um. had Luna. All right! Wow. All right. Still well, a long list of fifteen duelists, so we're we got a we got a while, but this is pretty good. So yeah, Rex and Roman were different people; they're brothers. So I separated them on here now. My my original mistake, but now I kind of did a little bit more research and I realized they're different people. So I'll keep hey, that. Hey, you learn. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's exactly what I'm doing. Anyways, that was a good duel. I honestly thought you. Would have won that, but I was I, so close to winning. But I, if I would have had heart of the cards or been able to draw, I better. I think it's just your deck size. It's it's too large, and you're playing like I said the the jar of greeds and the upstart goblins. It's like they're good, but for with you lots of cards, so you have too many cards to where like it doesn't even matter. So yeah, well, but, upstart goblin has double purpose in this deck. It, so. It's true. It does come it gives off you life if points, which you with used with my. At reaction and Dark Lord actually takes away life points right. and then gives me a card. So that's why that one's in there. That makes sense. That one actually had dual purpose and that's why I kept it instead of, you know, like normal. It wouldn't be as worth it, but that one, I have a double reason for keeping it. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I would I just say, yeah, deck size for sure. But other than that, and that was a long, but it... The turns we could do things, it was very, like, it was fun. So, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was just pack, but it was a lot of, all right, how can I outstall the stall deck? Yeah, exactly. It, Literally. If you wouldn't have got the exact deck, it countered everything I did. Like, that first duel, I had so many options. <laughs> yeah, that's do. true. The you stall trap that, reactor I was... I couldn't do great. anything. It was great. You had to be able to do multiple things at a turn. I get you. Yeah. Between this wheel and dueling Nexus, you have always got the upper hand. Why am I fighting the uphill battle? Sorry. Uh, I'm just so good it at it. always gives you the counter to everything I'm doing. Like, seriously. Yes. As, as a happy or Alex said, uh, I just get all that good luck. <laughs> yeah. Alec was right. Because you apparently have... I don't know if you have heart of the cards or just bribed a dueling next <laughs> or even bribed the wheel at this point. Yeah, that's and, true, because uh, I get the duelist that I need to counter your trap card. Yep, yep. 
That's what I mean. If from the wheel spin on, you usually have the upper hand. You either have the upper hand or you have the prep deck. Those are the only two options most of the time. Yeah, but no, you're right. Really, they either beat you easy because, you know, you've got a bad I got a bad, spin, yep. Or you get the counter to me every time. Like, why? Like, this deck was great. It was fun. I had fun building it, and I had fun going, you know, beyond what, you know, we would expect with this deck because I turned it from, you know, synchro to burn. I do have a lot of synchros in this deck. I love the uh, Snatch Steel... The bad reaction and Dark Lord. I mean, the both fact, duels, you were like one turn. Hilarious. Yeah, both duels, you were like one turn away from winning. Like, if it wasn't for like the one or two cards I had. Monster, either of those. Yeah. I would have at least been able to stall longer, if not kill you. It, it, yeah, highly likely. It was, wow. But, anyways, yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Daniel, thank you. It was uh, so fun. So keep causing chaos and yeah. on. That was crazy, but it was fun, so. Daniel, thank you, everyone. Thank you. And until next time, have a great one.